Let's talk to Chief Meteorologist Tony Minoffi. Tony, it's a sumo fight outside if you're in one of those downpours. Oh, yeah. You're not kidding. Let's take a look up north, and we're pointing that camera up there because there are some showers uh, up to the north of uh, West 2 Studios in uh, Winter Park. And you can see the rain's been coming down all the coast. That's why the temperatures there are running right around 69, 70, while off towards the south, still 90 degrees right now in Kissimmee. We've got this little trough of low pressure here. We have a stationary front kind of uh, right over uh, northern Marion County, Port is there of Flagler County that's generating a couple of lighter showers here. They've been socked in pretty good all day, but south of here we've had some breaks in that cloud canopy. We've been allowed to heat on up, so it's going to be interesting to see if we'll be able to pull up some of this deeper, richer moisture into uh, the southern reaches of uh, uh, Lake and Sumter and Orange County here a little bit later on. You can see the heaviest of the rain now along the I-95 corridor. We had a water spout here right around 3:15 this afternoon, very close to the satellite uh, beach area wanted to get you up to date on the river now at Aster 2.54 feet now expected to get to 2.8 feet very close to moderate flood stage at 2.3 feet waters covering South Moon Camp Dock so we'll have to wait and see if it's going to get uh, close to the moderate flood stage again based on the latest guidance based on the latest rainfall forecast we're at 2.8 almost 2.9 uh, feet uh, there above flood stage so we're going to be watching that very diligently here for you right through the upcoming weekend rain up to the north but the heavier downpours and thunderstorms we think are going to be across Kissimmee St. Cloud back towards Melbourne may inch up into southern portions here of Orange and uh, Lake County we'll keep you posted on that right through Western News at 7 there is still a long expected to go up and hasn't been canceled yet just checked on this uh, target time 639 uh, the probability lift off though running only at about 40 percent 12 hour forecast here for Orlando we'll do it all over again tomorrow daily afternoon showers and storms peaking at about 70 percent mid afternoon 5 a.m. Rain along the coast, steady diet of onshore flow means rain could be locally heavy from time to time as we get you throughout the day, especially along the coast. And then once again here from the 408 on towards the south. We work our way on into Saturday night. We are going to keep the showers along the coast. This is a situation where sometimes you can get these convergent bands and get some very heavy rain in a short period of time. Volusia County does not need any more rain, so we'll be watching that also very carefully all weekend long. On Sunday, notice how it dries out somewhat here. Uh, the worst of the rain will be in the morning, but the two day rainfall totals here could easily exceed three, four, five inches of rain, especially along the eastern side of the peninsula. We do have a coastal flood advisory in effect through 5 a.m. Sunday for Flagler County all the way up towards Jacksonville. Temperatures tomorrow before the showers and storms get going mid 80s. The Bowdoin Beach forecast, it's going to be rough and getting rougher with that onshore flow seas increasing early next week. Again, not the best of beach days tomorrow. OK, pool time the first half of the day. Watch those afternoon late day showers and storms for the UCF football matchup. The Bears and the Knights showers and storms around have those ponchos ready to go out in the tropics. Two tropical storms very close kind of ping ponging off of each other. We talked about that Fujiwara effect. We'll take we'll take a closer look at those uh, computer model forecasts for both these storms coming up in the next half hour. So improving late Sunday from north to south. Not bad early next week. Daily afternoon high temperatures then running in the mid 80s falling back into the mid 60s north to upper 60s here in town.